my little artist. How are you all doing today? I hope that you are doing well and that you are ready to create something. So today, I don't know if you can see, but I have my panda earrings in and I have my black and my white on. And we are gonna make a panda today. But instead of drawing, like we normally do, we are going to actually paint, which I'm so excited about, all right? This project is going to take you a little bit longer because you're going to have to let the paint dry before you can finish. So feel free to pause the video and then come back to it. All right. So you're going to need a fork for your, you're going to need a fork, either a plastic one or you can use a real fork. But if you use your mom or your grandma's or whoever you live with fork, make sure you ask their permission. Don't just go paint with their fork, okay? That'll get us both in trouble. So you need a fork. You need a piece of colored construction paper, or it doesn't have to be construction paper. It could be any kind of paper, cardstock, um, typing paper that's colored. But you're gonna need colored because you're gonna put white paint on this and it won't show up on the white paper, okay? So a piece of color paper, any color of your choice, white paint, a fork, okay? Then you need a white crown or a white color pencil because you're gonna draw um, and you need it to show up on, and you're gonna draw on some black paper. Then you need a small piece of black paper and a piece of white paper. Uh, it can be construction paper again, it can be poster board, okay? And then you're also gonna need some glue and scissors, all right? So what we're making today is this cute little panda bear, bear. And I love the texture that this fork gives by painting with the fork, okay? So I don't know about you, but I had never painted with a fork before, so I'm gonna show you how, all right? So let's get started. Okay, so I have green construction paper. That's going to be my background. And I have chosen a bowl to trace for my panda's head. You could use a plate. You could use a round circle that you've cut out. You could use whatever you want. I just found this bowl and I thought it was the perfect size. Now I'm using, you can use a white pencil or a green marker, green crayon, whatever the color is of your construction paper, you can use that same color to trace your bowl. Or you can use a white because we are going to use white paint. So I'm going to use white, okay? So that way my white paint will cover it up. But like I said, you can use um, the same color as your background too. So I don't know if you can see, but there is my white circle, all right? Can you see if I hold it a little closer? It's faint enough that I can see it. So you might not be able to see it real well, but it will be great because we can cover it up easily. Then I'm gonna take a fork and some white, either tempera or acrylic paint, or you can even use washable paint. And then I'm gonna dip my fork in there and kind of wipe off the, ex the excess paint. Then I'm gonna take it and start the top of the circle and just move my way around and keep stamping until I run out of paint. So I've kind of run out of paint. So I'm gonna turn my circle a little bit and then I'm just gonna keep going around my circle. And instead of, sometimes I notice that when we are working, even I do this sometimes, instead of moving my paper, I just try to move my arm in all these weird ways and it's really uncomfortable and then it doesn't turn out as well. So if you get in that predicament, just turn your paper. It's so much easier, okay? So I'm just going clear around and I'm kind of filling in the middle too, but I'm dragging from the outside to the middle. And then like right there, I don't have a lot of paint. So I'm gonna go back over that. And I want this outside, I, I, if you notice, I'm going over, I'm going outside that circle line just a little bit because when something's hairy, it kind of sticks out a little bit. Okay, and our panda is gonna be white and hairy. 
so I just keep going. Okay, now my, there's my, all of my panda's fur. And if I want to, I can make some more short, if I have some more short um, lines there, if I have some area that needs to be filled in again, some more, like if I have some more green. But there you go, this is gonna be my panda's head. Now I'm gonna show you um, one that I already have that is dried and I did it on pink paper. So this is already dried and ready to go. And so this is the part where you have to let that white kind of dry, okay? Now I'm gonna take my black paper again, okay? And I'm gonna lay it down here. Then I'm gonna take my white pencil. And if you notice, let me pull out my finished panda. I need some oval or egg-shaped eyes. So this is panda bears have patch black black spots or patches around their actual eye. So I took my black paper and I folded it in half. Now I'm gonna draw like an egg shape. Okay, and I did that. I'm only gonna have to cut it out one time because I have two pieces of paper there. Then on the edge here, I'm gonna make my ears. Now, the nice part is if you make it too big, you can go back and cut it down. You can't go back and make it um, bigger, but you can go back and make it smaller. So if you're not sure, make it bigger than you need. Then, for my nose, I'm just going to go to the edge of my black paper, and I'm going to make a U, or an arch, or you can call it kind of a rainbow if you turn it that way. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut this out. So here is my two pieces for my eyes, and I want the narrower part of my egg shape to come in towards each other, towards where the nose would be. And I don't want to glue any of this down until I have placed everything. And if you also notice, when I cut it out, if I have any white pencil mark. I'm just going to turn that upside down and glue that part down. Okay, so this is going to be my ears. I think I want my eyes here and my ears here. And then for this piece, I don't have to draw, I don't have to cut two noses, so I can just cut one side of this for the nose. Okay, and if I wanted to, my nose could be like that, or if I wanted to, I could cut a little bit off of my nose and make it kind of rounded if I want. But that's up to you, okay? You can decide which you like better, okay? Now, I have some glue in a bowl. You can use a glue, um, a plate of glue. You can use a bottle of glue. Sometimes I like glue, a plate of glue or a bowl of glue because I can just dip it in there and then dip it and then lay it down. So I'm doing that with both. See, I'm putting glue on the back. Okay. And my eyes, I kind of want them at a slant. So I'm going to make sure they're slanted. Okay. And this nose, I'm not sure I'm real happy with this nose. So let me cut a little bit off here just to make it a little bit more rounded. Okay, and I had some extra glue around that eye, so I'm gonna put that on there. Here's my nose, okay? Now, I need the white part of my eye. So here, that I need that white part of my eye, so I'm going to take a piece of white paper, and again, I'm gonna fold it in half, okay? By folding it in half, it allows me, when I cut it, to have two pieces. 
okay? Now, so you could use a, a black marker, you could use a pencil, whatever you want to do this one. And I'm gonna draw a circle. Now, I don't want that black line to show, so I can either cut on the inside of that black line or I could just flip it over on the other side so the black line doesn't show once I've cut it out. Okay. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I don't know if you can see, but I still can see a little bit of my black line. So if I just flip that over, that's a good way of hiding it. Okay. Now I'm going to dip the back of this in a little bit of glue. Then I'm gonna place my eye where I want it, kind of in the middle of that black spot. And then I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna decide where I want my eyes to go, okay? So I could kind of, my other one was kind of over here, so I'm gonna put it more in the middle. And if you leave a little small white spot in the middle, it kind of adds to it. It leaves a little bit of, ref it leaves that reflection piece that our eyes have. Okay, and I don't know if I can turn this a little bit. Let me see. It kind of got turned. There we go. Okay, so there is my panda, but then I'm going to take from the nose after this dries. Make sure this is dry because if it is not dry, it'll be, um, it, you'll ruin your marker, okay? So right from right here, I'm gonna go straight down and then I'm gonna make another U, okay? There we go. All right, there is my panda. Okay, now you could go and add a bow to its hair if you wanted a little girl you could add a bow tie down here if you wanted a little boy you can make this however you want okay so as you finish your pandas i'd love to see them take some pictures and post them so i can see them all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon keep creating